The world's most advanced malaria vaccine, which is produced by GlaxoSmithKline and is aimed at young children, has cleared a final hurdle. In 2013, there were an estimated 584,000 deaths resulting from malaria, 90% of which occurred in the sub-Saharan Africa. Here to tell us more is GSK Chairman of Vaccines and one of its co-inventors, Monsef Slawi. Welcome. Thank you. So not only is this the first vaccine for malaria, this is the first time they've developed a vaccine for any parasitic uh, disease ever, right? Exactly. This is really a major scientific breakthrough and, and also a breakthrough for the populations in sub-Saharan Africa. So what's the sort of time frame here? This is the first hurdle. How long do we think until um, this will be able to be implemented? So first it took us 30 years to get here, not because we were lazy, but it, this was a really very hard one to crack. We had to invent major new technologies to, to fight this parasite. Now that we have the European Medicine Agency approval, the World Health Organization is going to uh, work on defining how to best implement this vaccine in the sub-Saharan countries, uh, which should take between now and the end of this year. And then the sub-Saharan country governments, regulatory agencies will uh, decide uh, each in their sovereign uh, own decision making how to implement it, whether to approve it. And also in parallel, the Global Alliance for Vaccines, Gavi, will uh, raise uh, funding to uh, uh, procure this vaccine. Now, GlaxoSmithKline, apologies, GlaxoSmithKline has decided to uh, make this vaccine available at cost plus five percent and reinvest the five percent. And do you have any idea how many doses you can produce a year? We can produce at this stage uh, a few million doses every year and as we learn more how effective in real life this vaccine is we plan to ramp up our manufacturing capacity. And because you've had success here does this mean you can use whatever you've learned from this vaccine and and take it to other you know parasitic equivalents or other diseases? Absolutely and that's really one of the the breakthrough elements in this news in that we have now a platform technology that we know is able to induce parts of the immune system that we didn't know how to induce before and that make a number of other vaccines feasible. In fact, we announced a few months back that we, using very similar technology, uh, are able to have a, a great vaccine against shingles that has 97% oh. efficacy against shingles. And how effective is this? It, it, it's aimed at small children. Is there a certain age where it's most effective? And is it, you know, can it be, is it aimed at babies or can it be given to a toddler? So this vaccine actually was tested both in uh, infants at six weeks to 12 weeks of age and in toddlers, five to 17 months of age. It's slightly more efficacious in toddlers than in babies, about 50% in toddlers efficacy and about 30% efficacy in babies. I would call it moderate efficacy. We could do better, but because malaria kills 500,000 children every year, saving 100 or 200,000 is already a very important first step. Well, it's very exciting. Well, thank you so much for joining My us. Pleasure. On Seth.